good, Sarah. And today, I am playing with wire, you guys. I've been trying to improve my skills in wire working. Um, and by doing some, uh, and to make, I'm sorry, in order to make some sun catchers. I had this one I shared in the previous video. This was gifted to me after my brother died. And it is, it really appealed to my eye because it's very mixed media to me. It has gold, brass, silver, um, metal, metal beads, crystal beads, all types of stuff going on, right? Very creative and just, you know, I love these swirls that he's kind of put in order to cover where he attaches things. There's even a bead on top of this swirl. I don't know how to do it yet. Look at the dragonfly. Um, so that being said, then I, I watched a few videos. I was able to make one yesterday and I really got a lot out of it. Just that I didn't like the way it the shape ended up it was it just ended up really wonky because originally I used a can to make it super round and it was really round and good but then after wrapping all the crystals it, it got out of shape it's a very soft metal the wire is soft to begin with but I also was very rough I mean you can even tell here it's like bent that way so from me pulling on the wire to wrap it got out of shape um, but it was fun, and I'm happy with it. I think it, it definitely will, it, it fits the bill. It's a definite sun catcher with all those crystals. But then today, I decided to try some hearts, and I've been watching quite a few different. I shared in the other video, where are they? Um, I have so much happening on my table. Oh, here. Just these little hearts that I made on the jig. I have a wigamajig or something. It's a little um, metal jig. But they're for more like jewelry pieces. So what I wanted to do was re recreate the heart shapes, this one specifically, in a bigger size that could be used for a sun catcher. And so here's my first one. And then I hammered it and everything. And I realized that after I connected this together, the middle, I didn't have a loop to hang a centerpiece down. I was able to hang this one just fine and then I didn't have a hanger to hang it up with. So I put that aside and I started playing with another one and thought well how am I going to put the loops for connect you know so I created a little loop wire loop and then I when I joined the two sides of the hearts I kind of wrapped it in there and that's how I've connected my hanger and this little dangle. But, I mean, it's not, I don't know. See, I'm just friggin' winging it. So anyway, I wanted to show you something I learned, though, um, how to make a head pin. So I'm going to make the same little dangle. I have these butterfly um, crystals that I got at Hobby Lobby, uh, wherever, Michael's Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use a pink bicone, a little bird, and another crystal. Let's see, one of these and then a piece of like metal bead and that's going to be my dangle for the bottom so I'll come in and zoom in I'm going to use I think this is I don't know let me see my other piece it, it may be 20 gauge um, copper but I wanted to use this instead of the really thin stuff that I got um, which is this here this is what I'm going to wrap the beads around the outside. This is 26 gauge. Then there's 24, which I think I even have. Yep, here's 24 in silver. So just for this, like I might wrap the whole thing with silver. I don't know. I like mixing metals. So I'm just going to cut off like a couple inches of this. And hopefully be able to show you what I learned yesterday about making. Because when I did... When I did this heart, so this, this tutorial was not the Michaels one that I thought it was. It's a different one. But if you look at this heart, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll bring you down to me instead of coming up. I'll 
Okay. So this dangly heart right here has a hole through the middle. So what I did, that's the back, is I strung this really thin wire through it, but then I bent it around the wire and wrapped that around to make my dangle. And I, I was pretty happy with myself. I did it. So you can see the wire is behind. It's on the outside here. But then when I watched another video, she showed me, and let me, I'll try to zoom in so you see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is make a head pin. All you have to do is take your round nose pliers and make a tiny little turn. Make it maybe a little. And then I'm going to flatten it, so I'm just going to squeeze it closed. Hopefully I'm in the shot. See, I can't, I have to, um, I'm very beginner at this, guys. Maybe I should have even used my flat nose pliers. All right, you got to get it more over so it'll. Ow, pinched myself. And that probably the smaller the better because, um, you know, you don't really want to see it, but because this is about the wire too, it's part of the art. But this is literally what makes your little head pin. So now I can go ahead and thread that on, and it's not going to come off. All right, so I'm just going to create this little stack of beads, and there's going to be a blood blister because that's right where I, look at that, I just made a blood blister. I love these little birds. I got these yesterday. And then I'll put a crystal. I don't like that one. I am so specific. And then this piece of metal. So that's my little bead dangle that I want to put at the bottom. So in order to wrap this, I'm going to connect it to here, to this loop. So I'm going to go ahead and try to show you how I did it. But this is what I learned. So instead of folding the wire in half, you know, I didn't know any other way. Because until you know, you don't know. <laughs> so I didn't know. I'm going to use my round nose pliers and just grab at the top of that and make a bend, a right angle bend. And then I'm going to reposition them straight up and down and, and wrap all the way around. Then I'm going to reposition them one more time, going this way, and pull the wire all the way over. And I'm going to be wrapping this whole section between this bead, this bead, and the top of the loop. This will all get wrapped. But before I wrap it, I have to attach it. So it's kind of like I've created a jump ring. So I have to open it, slide it in, and let it grab onto this loop. So now it's hanging from there, right? I don't, I don't think front and back matters because these will all spin. So then I'm going to close it just like a jump ring again. I'm just going to hold it with my um, round nose pliers. So I'm holding it in position and then I'm just going to wrap the rest of this wire around that exposed wire that's left. And that's it. I'm going to cut it. I am I know that this can be finessed and it can be much neater and better, but I am not doing that right now. I am getting the techniques down understanding why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm just going to press that little point down up so it doesn't get hurt me anymore that I'm already hurt. And that's it. Let me come put this down. So maybe I wrapped it too tight. Let me come up a little. Maybe I wrapped it a little tight because these aren't going to swirl. And the idea with a sun catcher is to let it, for there to be movement. So eventually I'm going to have to figure that out.
but so far I'm pretty happy with this one because it's got like I said all the different elements that I love um, it's got some crystal it's got some different color wire I used this isn't silver this is the um, this one copper 26 gauge really this is like thin thin like like um, almost like thread is what I'm trying to say and then I think I have these other um, elements I have flower like I said I have this hummingbird and and a ladybug and a butterfly but these could just get mixed into the mix on the outside if I want to this could be a centerpiece like if I wrapped it I think the wire goes the wire I'm going to see if there's a piece on my desk yeah the wire goes up through here so it like kind of leaves him like he's see how he looks like that straight across so what if I figured out a way to attach that like right in the middle then I saw a tutorial on how to wrap beads and to make them a flower so these were the only I think these are called briolet or briole this shape it's like a pear shape and these are from angels that I had and then I have these giant ones so I don't know I'm gonna try I'm gonna attempt to make some flowers um, and that'll just be a day of me making flowers I'll have to order those specific beads I think you can use bicone beads so bicones are this I think I might be able to do I might make a pink one with because I have enough of these these pink bicones so in other words, these are like little triangular shapes. So I would point the triangle toward the center and make a flower. There would probably be a center bead in there. I'm trying to find one that has some color. Mm, I don't really have one. I'll just use it's too big but you get the picture and then I'd have these little crystal flowers that I could wire onto a thing so I have a lot of playing to do you guys um, gonna continue with this gonna figure out a few things that I might want to wrap around the edges um, all right that's it. Thanks for watching.